in this video, I want to show you how to um, notate or tell JASP when you have uh, a certain value in that data set that indicates missing values. All right. So I'm going to open up a data set that you're going to use on your practice this week. Um, it's called, let's say, two sample practice problems data. That's what I currently have it listed as. Um, if you open that data set, you're going to see um, several variables. So we have center ID, we have the sex, age, whether they're Hispanic or not, BMI, and then we have some other variables that are related to some motor skills of children, right? But in these, this data set, you see values like 888. These are in the place of a blank cell for missing data. So instead of leaving the cell blank in this data set, missing is indicated by 888. And so you can see sometimes some of the demographic variables are missing. And at other times, some of the actual um, analysis variables that we want to analyze have missing data. And so sometimes people use like negative 99 or negative 999 or like in this example, 888 is used as a missing um, data indicator. So we need to tell JASP that, that 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 means missing. In order for us to do that, we're gonna go to this menu here. We're gonna go to preferences and I'm gonna go to data. Now I'm gonna click on data here. And in this section that says missing value setting, um, right now, these are the indicators, the values that indicate missing. But I need to add another one, the 888 for this specific data set. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type in 888 and I'm going to do a plus sign. And now when JAS sees a value of 888, I'm going to, it'll automatically note that that is missing. And so now that I've done that, nothing happened to my original data set. It stays the same. However, Notice I don't have any blank cells in none of these uh, in none of this data, but I have 2,162 rows, right? And so I just want to check and see if it's going to be noticing that 888 is missing, like I just indicated. So I'm going to going to go to descriptives here to make sure it did it right, and I'm just going to pick one variable that I know has missing values. The sex is one of those variables, so I'm going to put sex in that variable slot. I'm going to expand this, and right now, Jasp is not seeing that that is missing. And so I'm going to go back. So let's see what happened here. 888 is there. Oh, I didn't say set current workspace with these values. So I'm going to say set current workspace with these values. Now I'm going to adjust that. Now we see that these 888s have been changed to a point or a decimal. Um, and in that, I'm going to go back here. Now I see that I have 268 uh, observations that's missing this uh, sex variable because they were 888s. And then I have 1,894 that were valid. Um, the mean and standard deviation and stuff doesn't mean much for, for us here. Um, because our data is um, nominal. But anyway, that is how we um, set missing values. Um, and so if you ever encounter a data set where you see that, then you can use this method to allow JAS to recognize that as missing. Now, what I can do is I can always go back to reset with the standard values in that way, and then set that to the current, and then that way, when I upload my next data sets, I'm not sure if JAS will remember those preferences, but just to be sure, you can always go back and reset it uh, to be the same. All right. I hope that helps you when you do your practice this week.